Ooh. Teleportation, I guess. Well, welcome. Hello, and welcome back to Shadow Dragon Hard 5. We are off to chapter 23, and apparently we're teleporting to Thebes. Ah, because Goto has warped us there. Okay. That's fair. I guess his warp range is even longer than, a, than one map. Alright, let's check it out. Let's check it out. So... Garneth is over here for some reason and not at the throne. Um, and has his, like, nullify all attack thing and also the falchion. Yeah, Thoron, Thoron, Swarm, Thoron, Thoron, and a double sword. Is it brave weapons and everything else is up here? Probably barrier staff. There's no like direct path up here. I mean, we could certainly warp. Oh, it's also Garnef. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Um, okay. Another Master Seal. I really need that. Another Master Seal. I don't really need that. And another Garnef. I don't really need that either. Um, okay. Well, and then there's a treasure room way the heck over there for some reason. Um... We don't actually have to kill Garnef, it would appear. Which is interesting, right? Like, we could just seize. I mean, it is... It sees like every other chapter. Huh. I want to look at... Got the starlight right here. So, like, how does this work? Like, do you have to attack him with it, and then that's the only way? Or do you, like, use it as an item? Or does he just, like, do you just have to have it? Like, I don't, I don't know. I also... Got Io Shield. That's cool. Did we get anything else cool last chapter? I don't remember. Guess not. We had done Olivia and Julian. Um All right, never mind. That well, yeah, last chapter was. I did some silly warp stuff. Uh, yeah, I kind of wanna. Fighting all these mages at once is gonna be hard. We've already seen how that can go in the desert, where like, you know, when they just hit so hard and nobody has res, it's just really hard to kill. I mean. Like, I guess what we could do is we could just get everybody, like, right outside of range and then, like, blitz them. But I still don't know how to deal with Garnef, like, really? Like, I mean, we have this, like, Starlight thing, but I don't know. Like, none of my mages... None of my mages want to take that on, like, unless this thing is really heavy, which is not. He's got 23 speed. So we got, like, you know, Merrick over here with 14 speed and 10 res and... 13 speed and 16 res. Like, 16 res is pretty good, but... You're still taking 13 times 2, I guess? 
Yeah, okay, actually, Lena does not survive. I was about to say, I guess she might survive that. I mean, with a barrier. But, like, I don't know. How much was the... 13 might, so 26 attack. I guess that's a decent chunk of damage, 16 damage. But, like, if, you, if she has to do that, like, I just... I don't know. It doesn't make sense... I mean, maybe something's gonna happen. It's just so weird that I could, like, beat the chapter without, like, killing Garnet for getting the Falchion. Like, what happens then? I, I, I really kind of want to try it. Not well, at least because it seems dramatically easier. <laughs> Where are we in terms of warp stuff? Selena's got a 5 out of 7 warp staff. You do not have a warp staff. Where's Boa? You've got a 4 out of 7 warp staff. And don't we have another warp staff? I thought I had a third one that I had repaired when it got low. Oh, you got it. Okay. Right. Um... So let's do that. I mean, we shouldn't... We shouldn't even need... We should only need to use two warps if we do this, because we can just warp Marth and one person kill the boss. Like, the boss does not look... I don't even... Do you even call this a boss? Like, it doesn't look... Threatening. Um, I mean, I guess what we could do is we could go get these chests. Because the other thing we could do is, like, just sort of wait and see. Like, go up and get the chest and just kind of wait and see what happens. Like, so I gotta deploy Julian and. and send, like,. Him and Zane up this way to get these chests and see basically if something, some like event triggers that makes it clear what the heck I'm supposed to do <laughs> or whatever. Um, so if I went that direction, all right, we, we don't really need. Oh, uh, oh, wait, well, I don't have them selected anyway. Um, oh, we're getting quite a few. Fewer units. I guess I'll bench Wendell. Julian. Um, unload that stuff. You all can keep your stuff, that's whatever. Merrick and Lena both have warp stamps, staves. That's what I really kind of care about. Um. Harden had been using the Gradivus. I wanna put that back to him. I just I guess I do have a 12 use hammer and staff. I shouldn't complain too much about losing the like infinite durability <laughs> uh gadget Ismo. don't know that there's anything that you particularly care about having. Maybe like a hand axe. And then we probably don't need too much in the way of weapons. Okay, well you don't need to be carrying a silver card. But you could have a steel sword, I guess. So, I'm gonna do that. What we wanna do is. I'm 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you can go one, two, three, four, five, six, and imitate. Um, so yeah, I don't really know why I'm bringing George here. I don't think he's very good here at all. Wendell has high res, seems better. This bow is res. Nine. That's less than the other mages, right? 16, 10. I guess the other thing we could consider doing is reclassing Wendell to a magic class. He's only got eight res as a sage, 11 res as a bishop. That's not... It's not going to cut it. Um, and then the Starlight thing, I, I don't know. I guess Marth can always trade it to one of Lena or Merrick. I don't know if there's going to be like a use command, you know, or something. So. Oh, I guess we could get out that IO shield. Um... Probably want that not on Cheetah because she's got enough defense that she can just kind of face tank arrows. <laughs> not to mention she has like more avoid than others. Um, Hala, 18 defense, 13, 14, 19. Uh, I think Harden is the one to, to do that with. We don't need a Rider's main right now anyway, so. Bio shield. All right. As far as the arrangement of the rest of our units, it doesn't probably matter a whole heck of a lot. Um, Dun dun dun. <laughs> All according to Keikaku. It sure makes it seem like I just gotta frickin' deal with it. Honestly, though, only three of them is, like, not that many. It's kind of, That's kind of weird in its own way. I, I don't know what to think about that. One issue with doing this with these two... ...is I feel like there's a pretty darn good chance that reinforcement's coming through right there. <laughs> Um, although it's only like a one tile spot, so we could potentially just like park Minerva on it and then not have to worry about it. Might actually do that just right away, because like, it's not like I'm going to need, well, how much firepower do I need if I do wade into this mess? The problem is like, Garnef is going to just kill somebody, <laughs> like, I don't know how to deal with that. Urgh. Um, maybe you have to hit him with Starlight and then you can attack him with other people or something? I don't. Warding his power, whatever that means. Well, Marth can't use it. Um, 
like, what happens if you have no good magic users? <laughs> I just don't... I don't know. I mean, arguably, compared to Garnet, I don't, anyway. Um... Okay, if we were gonna rush them, we have one, two, three, four, five, six-ish attackers. I guess it's basically good enough-ish. Did I bring a barrier staff? I mean, I can pull it out of the convoy. I did not, okay. So I should probably rectify that at some point. All right, yeah, I think I actually am gonna just park Minerva here. And... No. Sickly green. Boy, one of those is in range. Uh, that could be a problem. One of those swarm tones. 23 attack. Huh. Okay. Um. And we can't get into range to even barrier them next turn. That's great. Um. I guess what we do is we just leave one of them there, like, until we're ready to seize, and then we just grab the chest at that point. Well, specifically Julian. Obviously, there's no reason to do it with Zane. So, okay. That'll be that plan. Now, this is one of the Swarm Mages ranges, is it not? Specifically... That guy. 23 attack, 89 to hit, I mean, I don't mind putting Sheeta in that, in range of that just as like a bait. He can also reach, this guy can also reach her, but can't even damage her, so who cares. So, oh, whatever. There's a wall there. I want to fly around it. They are gonna rush me. Ah, okay, so we do okay. We, yeah, we do have to kill him. Uh, this this looks real awkward. Oh, uh, okay, Garnef isn't in range of this guy, but still, like these other guys are. Maybe we just have to tank the swarm again. If we turn off the swarm range and the thief range and the thief range, we are left with a manageable situation. So, we're not going to double this thief. This guy's probably going to run back and attack, which is annoying. Um, he's not fast. He's not going to double anyone, so that doesn't matter. He might be able to one-shot somebody, though. 
You can definitely one-shot Marth. That's probably it, but still, that's a problem. Well, in the meantime... Oh, hey, the other one moved. So now we can get to the thing safely. That's cool. Um... Okay, we're not gonna be able to, like, run forward and block him. Well, maybe we can. We put somebody, like, here and somebody here and somebody here. So maybe I'll do that before I worry about where I exactly need to put Marth. Um... Arden might be capable of one-shotting this guy? Not quite. Let's see, I do kind of want to get Barst over this direction, I guess, although his hit rate's not great. Um... Javelin. We're still doing a ton of damage to this guy. Alright, fine. And then... I guess we could level Wendell. Not. Catria. strength. I will take that. Um, yeah, if this guy keeps moving forward, then the plan is probably going to be we kill that guy next turn. And... Okay, maybe... maybe I will try to level Parist off of this guy. Eh. Right. Um, how about... I guess so long as Merrick can get down there. Put Sheeta here with a javelin. need a door key? Like, I mean, we don't need a door key for the left side, obviously we already took care of that, but no, there's no door. No other door. Okay, sure. Um, so now that we've done that, Marth still needs to retreat a bit. Might be a good idea for him to get a barrier staff, so I'm gonna do that. Writer's Bane, which she doesn't need. And mm, the Starlight. I don't know. I guess he can go hand that over later. Put Pala here. And then Merrick. this barrier. I guess we'll trade his warp staff for now. I don't know who to barrier. So I think I'm not going to yet. There is another barrier up here, I guess, but maybe I should just do it, but 
Oh, right, you're over here. Ow. I guess it was Pala that I was meant to bury her. He did not move back. Well, that's good to know. Um... So we take off your ranges. We're still in range of this guy. But not this guy if we don't attack this guy yet, but both of these guys if we do. So we'll probably want somebody who can withstand both of these two, and then we can go in and take this guy out. So six, somebody who can take 67 magic damage. It's rather a lot. Um, Wendell, if you get barriered... 16... Um, so they do 17 and 18 damage. That's too much. You don't have the HP for it. Um... Merrick gets barriered. He would be at 17 res. And... They do... 16 and 17 damage. He would survive that. Okay, so... But you can't kill this guy. Okay, what about 5 res, 4 res, 4 res? Cheetah's HP is probably not enough, right? 12 res. And they're doing 21 and 22. Yeah, it's not. Barst has more HP, but not enough more. Well, this is awkward. I don't know what I was afraid of. Um, so if we don't kill the swarm guy, then this guy plus the swarm guy can attack whoever kills this guy. Right? That is less damage. 34 and 23. So, like... Whoever ought to be able to take that. Like, can. For instance, can Harden take that? Um. You'd have. 11 res. 23 damage, and 12 damage is 35. No. Sheeta could do it. A little bit more res and a little bit more HP. Wendell might be able to. Probably makes more sense for Sheeta to do it, though. So, let's have Merrick Barrier her. Sheeta, I think. Take up this guy's range. We can attack this guy from close up. I don't know if it's a good idea, though. I mean, maybe it doesn't matter. Yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter. Unless... If we could one-shot him, that would be nice. Arden could do that. We're out of this, maybe. Nope. And she does less strength. Okay, yeah, forget it. So just do this... to heal Cheetah. Which means Pala needs to get out of the range of this guy. Which you can just barely do. Let's, uh...
Oh. Oh, we don't, we're not blocking that spot right now. I think that's the reason. Oh, right, catch rate needs to get out of the way. Um, okay, right, so... You go to here. Now, yeah, now we're, we're good there. And then, taking this guy's range off again, I guess we want to put, like... Arst over here, and Wendell oh, there. Let's dump this back in the convoy. Alright, we can get our chests open. Oh, a talisman! It's actually pretty useful right now. Hey, missed. That guy's working his way back over. Okay. Well, we're not staying. All right, um, so now it's just this guy in range, so we can kill that this guy with whoever. Which I want to be hardened. Nice, dang Harden. Gonna lure these guys out one by one, I guess. And then maybe we can figure out how to find, fight Garneth. Um, did I go ahead and barrier Harden? I guess I will. Now that we've taken care of that uh, swarm guy, we can bring Marth over. I guess I could have healed Pala. Could also just have her grab a home area again. Don't mind doing that. goes. Over goes that guy. I guess we have another problem now, which is that Garnef can reach whoever. Um, Garnef won't kill Harden if Harden is at full HP, though. Same thing with Sheeta. So, I mean, I guess that's the play. Oh, she can't actually one round with a ranged weapon. Okay. So she takes 20 damage from this guy. She does take lethal damage if she gets hit by Harden. I mean, uh, Garnef. Um, but we have a physics staff, so we can deal with that. Would like you to get more skill. 
All right, so we're gonna mend Harden, and then we're gonna have Lena come and trade for the barrier. I don't know why I still have I'm carrying the hammer around, but whatever. And we're gonna barrier. Oh no, wait. Oh, no, 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 yeah, 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 this works. Because Merrick, Merrick has way more HP than Lena. So if we... What was this? What was Garnef's attack? Whatever, I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> now that I've, like, gotten that far in the action. Uh, 29... Yeah, Merrick can survive this. Um... I guess we could also start making our way up the stairs here a little bit. Guy with the Brave Bow, 24 attack. Yeah, bars don't care about that. Let's go. Um, yeah, we gotta get... Alright, Harden... I guess you might be able to contribute to killing Garnef, but... Whatever, let's just put you over here. Marth... Do that. Um, it occurs to me that there could also be reinforcements that come in from down here, which would really suck. Maybe I can just block that out too. At least for the moment. I don't know if we'll keep them there or what, but... I guess I should leave you... Like... You could... Yeah, never mind. You're not gonna do any good against Garnef anyway. Ow. Is it just me or did she take more damage than she was supposed to? So, I, I thought, I don't know, um, whatever, so, yeah, 29, now you're at 16, so you take 13 twice, that's fine. slows you down, which is annoying, but whatever. So, I suppose, no, in fact, Lena is the one who's about to level. can do some damage or something, I don't know. Um, meanwhile, this guy we can just surround and destroy as we want. We can block... I mean, if these two block the... Or at least Julian. The entrance down there. Did 
this swarm guy is not in range. Okay, that's good. Merrick did not take very much damage. Wait, why is he... Right? <laughs> we still can't do... I'm, I'm confused. Why did Merrick take 8 damage? And now he's taking... 14 times 2. I mean, it's not going to kill him, so I guess it's fine. I am worried about this fortify up here. Um making it that much harder for me to kill I like finish him off but I don't know what I can do about that really um I gotta kind of run away with everybody else hit him Efficient kill. Yeah, let's um let's get this kill to power. Oh, you can't get it. Oh, you come so close to getting it with your big 19 strength. Well, Oops. I was gonna leave him in range to be healed by Lena, but I guess not. Alright, Katria can double, right? Yeah. Oh, pure water. I kind of forgot about that. I mean, it doesn't do anything more than the barrier does, but I kind of forgot that I had pure water in my convoy. I always forget that I have pure water. This is a flaw in my game plan, I would say, in general, or my game plans. What the hell? Man, if, if there's like some sw freaking swarm mages there that like kill me, I'm going to be very displeased. No, no, stop! Come on! Stop! <laughs> he was gonna die! Come on! So I guess the idea, and this is surely not the real one anyway, right? Although maybe it's just like the last one you kill, I don't know. Alright. You don't have it, no. You don't have it. I mean, they, these could definitely be scary enough in their own right, regardless of that. But. Oh man, if Garnet takes a lot of damage, they're just gonna double fortify. This is so obnoxious. What the heck? So I, like, have to, like... Wait, what if... Of course he needs healing now, but what if I... Alright, let me double check something. You do die if you... you yeah, if you attack. Like, if I do 19 damage to him with Merrick, and then a little bit less... Like, Merrick plus Lena could kill him right now, except neither of them can survive. <laughs> and they... I need... Uh... Mmm. need Zane. That's what I need. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, we want to put Merrick where Marth is. So, Marth, why don't you make your way up here, right outside of range of the swarm guy. 
Um, can he physic a barst? Yeah, no, no, no. I don't need to do that. How much damage was he taking at this point? 29, 15 twice, so he'd be at taking 30 damage. Okay, so he does survive that. And then what we do is we bring Zane down here. No, just kidding. Trade for the barrier. We imitate Lena. And then next turn, we can have Zane barrier Lena. And the two of them hopefully can kill Garneth. Number one. <laughs> and meanwhile, my, I guess I haven't used up that much of the Starlight. And I do have a hammer and staff, so it's not a big deal. Okay, so meanwhile, we want to lure this guy down so we can kill him. We can do that with whoever. Um, let's get Cheetah off of here. Julian on here. I don't actually think Wendell turns out to be super duper useful. So. Just do that. That. And that. And that. And that. Ow. It seems like Mar uh, Merrick is consistently taking less damage than he should, which is fine with me, but is also very confusing. Like, he was supposed to take 15 damage there, and he definitely didn't. He took 10. So, like, you know... Eh. Alright, we've got... Garnet walled off here. So what we can do is we can barrier Lena. Merrick is gonna do 19 damage, yeah. So we can trade for the Starlight. Ah! What? You can't use sea tones? Should have imitated Merrick, I guess. Uh, well, she won't die. Man, that's so obnoxious. Holy crap. Also, I can't tell if this is safe or not. <laughs> Alright. I have a way to solve that problem. We're gonna take a one-turn risk here. Use the save point. Um, ah, I did not notice that. Yeah, okay, well, now we know. We'll turn Zane into Merrick. <laughs> um, and meanwhile, we haven't healed, we don't have anybody available to heal Katria, but that's okay. Maybe it's not okay. What is... What's got range on, on this? Is it, It's got to be another swarm guy, right? Alright, there's one swarm guy up there. 23 attack. Okay, well... So, Katria isn't safe to send in, but we can send in whoever else. Ella, why not? We're 
that's no way, no how, gonna put this guy in range where we can get to him, so it goes. Um, actually, might as well not take the risk here, because we're not really, we're not really doing anything up here yet. It's gonna take a while for them to, like, trickle down, or, like, I don't, I don't want to fight them in range of that swarm guy, so I'm gonna wait for them to come to me. I think we are going to get Garneth killed here next turn, so we'll be fine. That being said, I guess everybody else can move up. Although, these two are injured, Martha's not useful, so I guess I'm just going to move Harden and maybe actually move Katria back down so she can be in range of the healers. Ow. Oh, wait, he's attacking Merrick? Oh! oh great. <laughs> okay, well, that was a trip. Um, I should really just start using pure waters instead of barriers, I guess, but... Um... You don't even have a healing staff, because of course you don't. Let's fix that. So the, the swarm guy is here. Anything we would want him to lure, like, get him to move away, but I don't think there's a way to do that, so... I don't know if he's, this is going to trigger him to move laterally or what, but... There's no sense in going into his range this point. Clip, clop, clip, clop. All right, so now the question is going to be, are we going to be able to safely engage on the stairs like this? I kind of have my doubts. <laughs> so I think I'm going to back up a little bit. I'm certainly going to back up with Marth. Um... And it probably isn't wise to leave these two over here. Move Pala down a bit. I guess I should, could consider giving some thought to who gets that talisman. It could certainly be Sheeta. Like, HP-wise... I guess there's Merrick. Actually, maybe Merrick does, or, 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 um, no, no, because she can't use the tome. Yeah, I should probably give it to Merrick, actually, <laughs> so he can, like, more easily take on the other Garnefs. Kind of annoying, but I'd rather give it to somebody else in a lot of ways, but... Alright, Zane, your HP doesn't matter because you're just gonna lose it when you like untransform or whatever, so I don't care. Alright. Come on down. I 
think probably the most logical thing to do here is to just go to the edge of these guys' range with somebody, or at least out of this this guy's range. So let's just back up. Oh, you don't have a men staff. I'm gonna grab the one from Zane for now, I guess. All right, who is closest to a level? I guess Pala. Not that it really matters who we put in range. Check how Pala's combat looks against this guy. Ten crit though. Ugh. Six crits better than ten, and I sort of already. Yeah, I guess it's gonna be Harden. Oh, I guess Catcher's already in range, huh? Well, okay then. Eh, I mean, he has more luck than Harden does anyway, so maybe I should just go with Katria and leave it at that. Guess so. Oh, it hurts so much. Jeez. I did not even consider the possibility that she might actually get one shot, but... Well, it certainly was a possibility. Alright, if we take off... Your range... And your range... Yeah, we can kill this guy... No, no, that's not true. Whoever kills this guy has to be able to withstand this guy's attack, which is fine, we can heal them, I guess. Um... So, how bad does it look against this guy? Nine crit. Uh, all right, you've got a lot of luck. God, that hurts so much. Actually survive if I just do that? Barely, but I guess, I guess I'll just. Oh no, wait, you're the one with the recover staff. has high luck. She does certainly has plenty of luck. Um, we're talking about... Okay, I'm sorry. Get out another... And then... Trade that over to you. know if it's useful to imitate Merrick this turn. I guess it means that next turn we can use him, so it probably is useful. Huh, <laughs> okay. Um... I was talking about pure water. Um, I 
guess... I don't know, it doesn't seem like it's gonna do anything right now, I, honestly. Like, I need to be engaging multiple enemies at a time for it to really matter, so... Alright, so we take off your range, and now we are in this guy's range, but we are not in anybody else's range, including the swarm guy. Okay. So, again, we can work with that. Um, you, you have 17 crit? Dang, dude! Chill with the crit rates! Uh, she did against everything. I guess... Oh, yeah, this guy has coverage on... on here, yeah, okay. I was thinking about, well, should I go up and kill this guy, but... Um... Because everybody else has so much lower luck than Cheetah, it's kind of crazy, actually. I guess Barst's not that, that much lower, but... We can just... No, I guess if we want... Ours not to be the one... Or, well, maybe we... Let's do the... Okay. And then Chidi can come up to here and Honestly, I guess that's probably good enough. Go ahead and have Zane top off Katria. This is efficient play right here. Okay. Take off this guy's range. We are going to be in range of the Swarm Mage, which is going to be annoying. Really annoying to get past. I mean, you, we could warp somebody in, but then they would die, so that doesn't really work. Um, but... Other than that, we're just going to have to walk through it, like, all the way. Which is super duper. Um, like, if we could bait him into moving this way, I guess. Maybe we could cut down on that a little bit, but not too terribly much. Anyway. Um, Alright, what's your crit rate? Did they have did the crit rates this high the whole time and I just didn't know it? Like that, Because I didn't worry about that with the guys over here at all. Maybe they just did and I just didn't notice. Um... Well, that was Zane, wasn't it? That's not who I meant to heal with. Oh well. Um. I want to give the. 
kill somebody else, but I guess I won't. Luckily, I mean, the swarm at least does have a lot less attack on it, so... If we take off the swarm, we've got not a whole lot going on. So we can start moving everybody else through. It's not Marth, which is unfortunate because of the convoy situation. But what can you do? Depending on who the swarm guy goes for... Advance Marth somewhat. Are you kidding me? What? Another round of this mess? Oh my god! Why? No! No! There's so many guys! It's just cruel! Oh! You got you gotta be kidding me. That is... This one guy moved all the way over here. Oh, that is ridiculous. I'm wondering if there's any value to baiting him into attacking, like, at the square, so that... Maybe we can move across his range, like, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he could move... I don't know if he would move all the way back to here, but if he did... Six. He could still move to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, like we might actually be able to get across his range. Meanwhile, though, oh my god. We. <laughs> Just. It took me so long to kill that last <laughs> wave of guys. Ugh. Like, I was thinking of doing an episode cut. Um, because, it's, you know, you're gonna be like, okay, we can get, like, up to here, and then there'll be, like, the part of the chapter where we get through all this mess. And now we have to go... Th I guess I'll just wait until um, I get through those guys again. I don't know. It's just... Uh, that's so demoralizing. Arr. Okay, well, Sheeta can't get all the way out, so I guess, I guess we might as well put her over here. Hey, that looks good. Right, you might as well head way the heck down here, because we're probably going to end up having that same, like, retreat thing. sideways he went forward now it's like even worse uh, <laughs> so freaking annoying there's like I can't I can't just warp in him and take him out because whoever goes up there is just gonna die I mean like maybe like 
Maybe that's not true. Maybe Sheeta could survive. Yeah, after getting healed. It's like, this guy is not quite in range. The Garnefs are not quite in range. This guy's in range and could do a whole bunch of damage. Let me see. So... With... With a Lance equipped... Um, she'd have Weapon Triangle against these two, so they'd get, do 27s. So they'd be, like, doing... 12-ish damage. Maybe less, actually, because... Like... Their, their attack value probably reflects the, like, bonus they get from their weapon level. So it might be as little as, like... Four times two... Or three times two. I'm not really sure what the the exact numbers are, but it would be pretty small. This guy's not in range. Um, and then this, yeah, this guy's not in range. And then this guy, who might be moving through, I'm not actually sure. I, but if he if he is if he is moving through, then then we can absolutely do it, no question. Assuming that she doesn't get stranded and just killed that way, but, you know. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to prep for that. And that starts with... Bringing her down here. And refreshing her javelin. And then having Lena heal her up, obviously. Um, yeah, I think we're just gonna hang tight and see what happens. Uh-huh, 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 okay. Now, the, the risky part comes if, like, some of them turn around once we warp sheet in. So maybe we wait one more turn. We do lose Sheeta against these guys, which is unfortunate, but Barst was doing a pretty good job of it. Barst might need a new hand axe soon. We can do that, though. Um... Yeah, let's, um... Let's see, Zane's the guy got the barrier. Okay, um... Have you come down and trade barrier to Lena? I'm gonna bother imitating yet. Barrier Sheeta. Okay. That was actually something. Oh, we don't have a warp staff. Who's got the other warp staff? And I put one in the convoy. Maybe I have two in the convoy at this point. Okay. Um, that's fine. Let's move. No, that's Harden's not the one we need to move out of the way. You're the one we need to move out of the way. for now. Alright, if I turn you guys off. Yeah, so she does outside the range of the other enemies. <laughs> and if they close on her, like, that's, that's gonna be real bad, but... How does this look? Three times two. I called it. Nailed it. She's not doubling them, so that sucks, but oh well. Get out of here. 
Okay. I mean, if, like, one of these mages reverses course, she'll be fine. And, like, maybe with a Physics Staff we can do enough to keep her alive if multiple of them, so long as they trickle in slowly enough, and we could potentially warp somebody else up there. Meanwhile, I guess we can move... start moving people up towards these enemies, which we might want to do just to make sure that they don't turn around. Um, which means... Katria, you're up to kill this guy because Pala's luck is so low. I'm still gonna send her up here in case she can, like, one-shot somebody, which she was pretty close to being able to do. Alright. Okay, okay. Ah! That, okay, okay. Well, fortunately, there's only one of them. Or, well, there's two of them, but not only one of them in striking distance. Okay, we take this guy's range off. We can attack with the, these guys with the javelin, which is good. How much damage is this guy doing? 22. Actually, wait, if we... Oh, Garneth is in range, and the, the sniper. Okay, that's no good. We can't go in and kill him. I'm wondering... So if we, if we take... Take six damage and six damage, that's 12. Yeah, we, I think... I think we do actually have to Physic Cheetah here, like, just in case. Which is fine. Really matter which of these guys I attack. Okay. Um. Can you one shot a dude? You can! Alright, alright. Um. Unfortunately, nobody else is in range. But. Yeah, that's actually kind of a problem, isn't it? Whatever, we'll just let them come to us for another turn, I guess. Come back. You get the physic. Yeah, that's what I want anyway. to get healed. Um... Okay, uh... Pala can also shot one shot this guy, so we can do that next turn. So come back here. Arden, come on up. Zane, come on up. Marth, come on up. I I I, I do. I, I, blah, 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 blah. I will say at this point, I really really doubt there are reinforcements coming in from there. Like they're obviously all just warping in. But whatever. I, those three do too much to move the needle anyway. Oh, that's obnoxious. So now the question is, if we Physic Sheeta again, does this guy kill her? He does 20 damage.
Well, between them they can kill her, although we can physic her twice. That's the other option available to us. Let's have Pala come up and kill this guy. Map. If you can do that, Harden... Oh, this guy has way more HP. luck, 10 luck. I guess this is going to be a Katria kill then. Because we're not going to have healing available to, for Barst, unfortunately. Oh! Never mind. Huh. Ah! Okay. <laughs> I was actually going to be fine, because Katri could go up and finish anyway, but... Um, alright, so yeah, if we take... Yeah, you're, you're stuck where you are, Sheeta. Can you... Finish one of these guys? No, so... You might as well attack one of them, so that you can kill... Because we're going to double heal you anyway. sure it's the right time for it, but whatever. You know what, screw it. I, I'm gonna move these guys. There's, there's not reinforcements coming in from there. It's just not happening. I don't know what Ju the heck Julian is gonna do, but... Stop! Wow, okay. Got that big luck, that's for sure. Oh my god, stop! <laughs> okay. Um... We can't, like, Sheeta cannot flee from this situation because of the Garnefs. Which means we need to make our way up and around with everybody else. Oh, wait, we need to physic her. I shouldn't just run up ahead and do that. Um. But I do want to heal Barst, so let's trade back for the physic. guys she did that'd be super cool they're not gonna deal enough damage to kill her from this point right it, even if they hit her six times so might as well try I guess I could physic her again so I don't have to do it next turn there's some value in that Thank you. 
god, that's so annoying. Yes, thank you. Oh, ho, ho. He's at full HP. What a jerk. Oh, uh, we can get this healer over here, who actually hasn't done much of anything, but... Can I give that kill to... Yeah, somebody else. Um... Although I guess it would be nice to break that hand axe. Harden might level up this, I don't think Catria will. Well, I won't complain about more strength. Another barrier staff. It's nice. Okay, let's go ahead and have you give this another shot. really need to physic, I'm not gonna bother. I do need to get Merrick moving, though. It does seem like the reinforcements are finally done, which is good news. We can lure out- actually, I should have- I should have lured out the Brave Bow guy with- I just ought, sort of auto-clicked that, but that would have definitely been a good idea. <laughs> lure him out this turn with Barst. Does not take bonus damage, of course. I think we can just kill him now. Thank God. Yes. <laughs> All right, progress. Down to six enemies. We sure did not take the warp skip option. I mean, you know, because then I don't get the falchion. But um, right. Let's. You actually, I'll just pop the save point as well. I mean, is there any risk that you die to this brave bow dude? Not at all. Not gonna break your hand axe though. Oh well. Anybody want to come back to Lena for healing? Eh, Katria. Harden can tank the damage as well, because he's got the Io shield. That does have a crit rate on him, though. Alright, yeah, forget it. We'll just do this as we're doing it. We do, if we want to stay out of Garnef's range, we do have to engage this guy from range. Which is pretty annoying. 
mean, I guess we don't have to stay out of Garneth's range, but I sure would prefer to. Um... Just gonna try this. Okay, we're good. Can we give this kill to who is it? That was ready to level ish Catria. Uh, that's too dicey of a hit rate. Is yours any better? Not really, but. I am ripping through these healing staves. Okay, so... Almost there. Ready to bait out the next Garneth. Obviously, want to barrier Merrick. Uh, who's got the barrier staff now? Lena. Okay, it's fine. Actually, we might want to wait an extra turn so that we can like throw Merrick as far out here as possible. Seems like that would be a good idea. There's still another couple of healers. Um, we can. Uh, we can potentially have Sheeta take out this healer and the boss. We've got to heal her first, though. Um, so that would be a reason to lure Gar Garnet further away. That would also be a reason to, you know, heal Sheeta. I did not do, but okay. So, Merrick. I guess you can physic Sheeta. Oh, good. We get to imit re-imitate this turn. That's perfect. Um, let's start moving other people down and out of the way so that we can get away from Garnef if we need to. It makes you wonder why I brought them up here in the first place. Um... Oh, I need to get you a new hand axe, don't I? Well, worry about that next turn, I guess. Or... Do that. Wow! Wait, he killed him with Excalibur. <laughs> I forgot to equip Starlight. Uh, you just have to have it in your inventory? Well, that would have been good to know. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. All right. Um, let's go ahead and have Sheeta kill this thing, which we no longer really need to get into the range of the boss to do. I don't know why I ever thought I did, to be honest. 
four use fortify. Hooray. <laughs> um. Does that really change anything in terms of who we want to fight Garnef, though? Because he is, like, very fast. And hits hard. Maybe not. Maybe not. But... Excalibur is kind of just better. So... There's that. Him. I guess I'm not gonna bother. I wanna chew through my staves even more than I already have, and at this point, we probably don't really need to get much of anybody. Because there's so few enemies left. So I'm not gonna have to split the episode after all, which is nice. It's hard to find good art character art for Shadow Dragon, so I worry about the number of episodes and how many character portraits I can get before I have to, like, dip into, uh, like, the <laughs> originals or something. Cypher art. I don't know. Cypher art has backgrounds, though, so... That doesn't work. Um... Take off your range, yeah. That is that is gonna be out of Garnef's range. Um, you just keep making your way downtown. I wonder if Pala can one shot this guy. Probably not. He's on the throne and all that. And he's got more HP. Yeah, the bishops have more HP than the, the sages, I think. Or maybe those are those are unpromoted mages, aren't they? That's why. Eggs. Um. Imagine if they were sages. I guess. Um. I would like to get the kill to Katria. Wait, does she have like a support with power? I would imagine she does. Doesn't appear to have done anything. Well, we'll try it. Saved relatively recently, I think. Speed too. And another master seal that I don't really need. Alright. Um would be nice to take out this physic user, but I guess that's probably not going to happen. So what we'll do is just put Merrick on a pillar? No. No, we put him somewhere where maybe we can get pillar access next turn. Okay, I guess that's all we're doing this turn. Oh! Wait, what? Now he doesn't deal damage? I am very confused. Okay, well, whatever. We can... Um, now kill him. So... We're gonna heal Zane.
Oh, we're a damage short. How the heck does that happen? What? I do not understand. Uh... Did Merrick gain a point of magic after Zane imitated him? I guess he must have. Not sure what to do about that. Other than not attack. Okay, we can slip behind Garneth and kill this thing. I think Garnef is still going to be capable of one-rounding Lina. Which means... We have to, like, wall him off with somebody who does he doesn't kill. It's going to be tough. And then next turn... I don't, I don't know. How, how are we doing enough damage? Like, we got to... Uh... Kill Barst. It does not kill Barst. Okay. I'll put Barst here. And then we move Marth to here. We're gonna get a vulnerary out. Trade that to Merrick. He's gonna come over here and use it. Ah, uh, he can get onto the pillar? No, I do not want this. Do not want this, but also I'm not in a position to stop him, really. could get a vulnerary to Harden. He could like he could survive. But um I don't see a way to do that. Dang it. It's gonna take the pillar and then I'm gonna have to deal with that. I guess the pillar is only ten avoid. I guess it's not that big of a deal. Whatever. What? He attacked Zane? <laughs> well, thank you. That... No. <laughs> no! Not yet, Zane. Not yet. No. Also... Oh, no, never mind. Um... Okay. Um... So what we gotta do now is we imitate Merrick and we gotta like so I mean Merrick can dang near kill him but can't actually kill him uh let's see okay Sheeta won't die so you can box him in with Sheeta Um, plus Barst. So we can... 
trade. I don't know if I can actually attack. I need to heal Zane. Uh, and either barrier Lena or keep her out of range, which means I need people here, here, and here. I can heal Zane. I guess I can heal Zane with the physic, except it's on Merrick. And I don't have anybody else I can take the way unless. Right. So if I don't attack, if I, if I, if what I do is I. Heal Zane with Merrick. Bring Yoshida down here. We'll do this. Marth, get back. Now we don't even need to box him in. He's well boxed. All right, I'm just gonna break this men's staff, I guess. Maybe it'll turn out to be useful to have Harden healed up, although I doubt it because I'm assuming we can kill him next turn. <laughs> okay. Well, this thing heals. Obviously, we should have Katri on it. Okay. He really just wants to go up against the thing that can kill him, huh? Don't really get that, but okay. weird that he didn't know that we were capable of doing that. Like... Like, it, it seems like there's sort of thing that would be, like, pretty obvious. Like, oh... Um... You know, you... You're attacking me after I told you that you can't damage me. Like, I wonder why. Like, oh, maybe it's because, like, of... Ah, oh, my one weakness! <laughs> like, why would that be a surprise? I don't know. Alright, well, Merrick MVP. Um... What turn is it? 31! Yeah, efficient play. Um, that's, that's what I'm all about. Might as well get this bad boy out. Oh, he actually doesn't get slowed down by it. Amazing. I mean, his strength is still for crap, and I doubt... I doubt I'm, like, actually going to be able to do anything with it, but... Eh, I don't know. Um... I can put that back. Put that back. And then you can seize the throne! Hooray! The Resurrectory. <laughs> Perfect. It's literally called the Resurrectory. Like, of course it would be there. That's a, actually kind of a quality play on words. Oh, nice. You can suicide into... We can, like, suicide Marth into the boss and, with the falchion and then resurrect him. <laughs> Maybe that's, like, what you're supposed to do. I don't know. Because he's weak. Oh, oops. Uh, Alright, uh, hold on. Let me do that. Yeah, I don't want to... Don't want to jump the gun here. Uh, 
Well, as you can see, next time we'll be playing Chapter 24, The Dragonkin Realm. Uh, in the meantime, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.